So let's discuss a few things. Entertainment purposes only, of course. Maybe humor me if you can. For a few moments. You know, these guys. Been around a long time. Always busy. Making stuff. Sailing the high seas. Trading their goods. I added the lollipop. And then... Well, everywhere you turn, they seem to lay their buildings, foundations, structures, schools, plans. I had a lightning bolt too. I thought it looked cool. They're always up to no good, right? <laughs> Beast number four? Maybe. Ask Daniel, he'd know. Daniel 7 and 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and he shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time, and times, and the dividing of time. Let's look at that for a moment. Strong's, a time or period, an hour. We can also go by season. So it varies, but how can we find out what that window is? We'd know three and a half years, but let's just think of it as the hour. Look at the clock. One hour, two hours, three hours, and a half an hour is 30 minutes. So that leaves us with 3.30. Hmm. See that number a lot. You see this place? Number 77. The Royal Society of London for Improving Natural Knowledge. Officially formed in 1660. But if we look here, it says the Royal Society of London was officially organized in 1662, though its members had been meeting weekly to discuss current issues of philosophy and scientific import. And in 1662, after a plea was sent to Parliament and the Crown, King Charles II procla proclaimed himself the founder of and patron of the Royal Society. Yeah. Sorry, we should say. It was, um, its active role was proposing topics for investigation and asking for the society's cooperation on a number of projects. And we see that King Charles II decreed that all inventions must pass under the inspection of the Royal Society before patents would be granted for them. Yeah. The society undertook many laboratory experiments funded by the Crown, and promoted the wide discussion of the results, and in 1664 the Society began to publish the works of its fellows in scientific journals. So we're looking, that was in 1662, it was established in 1660. We go with 1661 because now we're talking about a time. 1662 is that new time. They did lots of stuff back in 1661. They were hitting a nice peak, I guess, in their studies and things. Enough to warrant an official organization. Yeah. And since they'd like 33, and we had the 330, Let's jump ahead a little bit. We'll jump to 1991. So in 1991, we'll just look at a few things for a moment. There was a song, it was written in 87 by R.E.M. It's the end of the world as we know it. However, they re-released it December 91 and it became number 69 in the US charts 
Well, in 87, it became 69 in the U.S. charts. But they made sure to release it again in December 91. This changes, there's a few changes to the song, but uh, as some of you may know, but in 1440, minutes in the day, related to time. Yeah. And remember, it was number 69 on the charts. Hmm. Blue light? We'll get to that. And also, great track. You know, good album, KLF. Last Train to Trans Central. Came out in April 22nd, 91. A nice 4 4 there. And the KLF liked to sing about the Ancients of Mumu. It was based on a series of books called the Illuminatus Trilogy in 1975. Yeah. They're really into that stuff. I wonder why. Hmm. It looks like somebody's building something. Continuing. You know, when we looked at the time, we were talking about the hour, and look at the word. Hora. Look at Hora. It's kind of... That's kind of strange. And if we're talking about the end of the world in December 91, would 92 now be the end of the world? Another time. So many doors. What happened in 92? Well, bright idea. How blue LEDs changed the world. Interesting. Blue LEDs made possible the white light LEDs you can buy in a hardware store and put in your house. You probably have these LEDs in your Blu-ray player or the display for your TV or computer screen. Without blue LEDs, the world wouldn't have backlit smartphones, TV, and computer, LCD screens, Blu-ray players, many forms of lighting, and countless other technological marvels. See, 92 was a leap year, starting on Wednesday. 92, year of the common era. The 992nd year of the second millennium and the 92nd year of the 20th century. Time. Time. And time. It's kind of neat. So let's go back over here. Look at these blue LEDs. Izamu, Akasaki, Hiroshi Amano, and Shuji Nakamura were rewarded for inventing a new, energy efficient, and environmental, environment friendly light source. The blue LED. Only the triad of red, green, and blue can produce the white light that illuminates the world for us. Shuji Nakamura. Don't know him personally. Looks important to me, though. Looks like a winning team. 1992. Looking at this, how they produced these. They started in 89. They worked, worked for a time. And... Um, they grow it with crystals. They use aluminum nitride, and they put it on a, a sapphire, sapphire substrate. I'm no chemist. Found it interesting, though. We have aluminum, a prime component. Let's throw a little sapphires in there, right? What do we get? Mm. LED. 
New York Times in 2001 had this nice article about a new use for LEDs and mind control. I'll put a link in the description. I also found this, it said, researchers said the flies exposed to blue light showed damage to their retinal cells and brain neurons and had significantly shorter lives compared to those kept in complete darkness. Even relatively mild light was seen to shorten their lifespan by 5 to 15 percent. Hmm. Well, 91, 1661, we said that's 330 years. Looking at 92 to 2022, that's 30 years. We want to divide it again, that time. So that's 10. So we have 2022 take away 10. It was 2012. Many of you remember 2012, I suppose. 2012 phenomenon, a rage of beliefs that the world was going to end. On the 21st of December, 2012, the magic little number. Did it end? A time did. A certain time. In stages. Because they're not going to be able to maintain for another 300 years. But they certainly got their 30. They're just buying time. Hmm. Another magic number. Looks like this time has already begun. just before 2018 probably this time last year gotta love technology and all the wonderful things it does for us changing t times and laws within our mind Don't miss the train to Trans Central. God bless.